What's up guys, today's video is going to be about a subject that's not so much related to strength training or nutrition like I normally do, but it's something that uh, we can all apply to our everyday lives. Um, and it's a question that I actually wrote myself because it's a question that I've had for a long time and still have trying to answer. Um, and that question is, I overthink everything, what do I do? Now I know if I've experienced this, I'm sure many of you uh, also have this problem. Um, but I know growing up, my personal story, growing up through middle school, I've always been very analytical. I can think in my mind all day. I love it. Um, you know, there's positive and negative effects, though. So. Uh, in school, I do very well. I'm able to take in what the teacher tells me. I can write it down back on the piece of paper, give it back to her. Um, I'm able to think before I act. I don't get in trouble very much because I'm able to think and make smart decisions. But socially, growing up, this has been kind of tough for me because I'm always wondering and thinking what other people think and what they want to hear. And so when I'm, when I'm just having a regular conversation, I'm thinking, oh, I hope what I say doesn't make them think something weird of me. And growing up, that was tough because when I did finally get some opportunities to talk and have conversations with my classmates, my peers, they would, if I said something weird, they would throw it back at me, Hunter, you're weird. And instantly, it would become a spiral and it would just, it would nail my self-esteem to where it wasn't good and then I'd think more, why? Why do they think I'm weird? Why do they think I'm weird? Well, I shouldn't say that again. So it came to a point where Everything I was saying, I had to think about it. And it just made me miserable. Miserable. And as finally as I get older and I realize that what people think doesn't matter, and that if this video is weird, it doesn't matter. I don't care what they think. This is what I want to do. This makes me happy because I know that hopefully those of you watching this might appreciate this video. It might help you. Um... It's it's really helped, and now um, I'm able to think for myself, think. I kind of act before I think now. I might get in trouble a bit more. I might do things that um, maybe I shouldn't. I, I know, but I, I found out that it's not all about being all analytical. It's all about a balance, and that's kind of what I want to talk about today. There's a man named, <coughs> a man named Elliot Hulse. And he talks about balancing, he calls it the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, kind of corny, I know. Basically, we're all up in our minds, we're always thinking. And if, if we're too balanced, if we're too unbalanced, sorry, too unbalanced in one spot, that's going to hurt us in a way. We need to balance everything out. So what he suggests is follow your heart, listen to your heart, do what you want to and that will make you most happy. If you're always thinking you're going to be unbalanced, it's going to throw stuff off. Not just on the outside, but on the inside. How your your body literally works. Because when you get these thoughts and you're always second-guessing yourself, that's literally going to mess you up on the inside. Um, a book I've been reading by a man named Eckhart Tolle. He suggests that one thing you can do when you have negative thoughts coming in um, you know, because there's no controlling. You can have positive, negative thoughts. You can't control them. But how you handle them is going to be what makes the difference in how, if you're happy or if you're sad, if that, you know, if the, the, the effect of that thought. So what he suggests is when you have a negative thought come into your mind, almost take, take yourself. He, he, he says take your, your being, yourself, and put yourself at a third person view because he he says that we aren't one with our minds we associate ourselves that we are our minds but we aren't our mind is a tool that we use but when we, we become slaves to our mind that's when things get bad so what he says take yourself your being come from a third person view and look down and look at that thought and just laugh at it because if it's negative it's not going to help you in any way and it doesn't matter. Oh, this person thinks this of me. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Okay? All it's going to do is put you down, depress you, 
and it's going to make your day crappy. All right. So this is just a short video on something a little different, but something I've I've dealt with growing up, and I felt feel pretty strongly about, and I'm sure many of you uh, feel the same way. So I hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any questions for any other videos you'd like me to make, just put it down in the comments on my YouTube channel or post on my Facebook wall, uh, Hunter Grindle Training. Um, so thank you guys. I'll see you next time.